Hi, this is Steve Garland, head wrestling coach at the University of Virginia, giving my first video, uh, Virginia Wrestling video newsletter of the very young 2018-19 season. Uh, it's been a long summer. I'm so, it's so good to be back with you guys. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but um, a lot of stuff's happened that we certainly haven't been idle. Uh, just to catch everybody up to speed on a lot of things, uh, this summer we did, uh, we had a great uh, training cycle with the regional training center here where we were working out a lot and had a lot of great practices so a lot of great development and we competed in, in, in a fair amount of tournaments we went to the uh, UWW Junior Nationals out in Las Vegas where Quinn Miller um, as you, you, a lot of you already know uh, took third out there and, and had a ton of wins a ton of matches and also Jake Keating uh, I believe wrestled gosh I want to say eight or nine matches out there. I think he went six and two or something like that. And so it was a great event out there. And then we had our senior guys, uh, three of our senior guys competing at the U.S. Open as well and, and with our resident athlete program. So that was, was phenomenal. And then we, from there, went to the trials where um, Quinn Miller actually made the junior world team trials, made the finals of the, of the mini tournament. And we also had, again, other, other, our other guys competing in the senior level as well. And so then we had the uh, final X. And then, gosh, I'm trying to think, oh, Oh, by the way, the U23 Nationals out in Akron, where uh, we had a lot of guys competing and a lot of guys do well, but the highlight of that was Jack Mueller making the world team at 57 kilograms, where he'll now be competing in the World Championships in Romania in, Nove in November. Uh, then we had our regular uh, our camp system that we run, the Paulson Brothers and I, and that was, uh, that was a great situation there. Gave the guys a little bit of time off, came back in, in uh, about August, I think it was the second or third week in August, and picked back up the regional training center and, 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 and open rooms, and the guys are in here uh, now. We actually started our, we had our first ever, or first of the season sort of team meeting uh, yesterday with compliance, but before that we did always do a little welcome picnic with our freshmen where we just bring everybody in and had a great guest speaker, and we just felt like it was a great time to get everybody together and explain the vision for this coming year. And the vision, excuse me, the battle cry for this coming year is today's the day. And the genesis of today's day came from uh, me at the national tournament uh, last year. After the national tournament, I read a, something that was on my heart that God put on my heart through some prayer and contemplation that, that day, the last day of the tournament, uh, and shared that with the group and talked to them about today's day. The simplest version for you guys is this. is uh, We don't want to live in the past because the past, living in the past and, and, and feeding off of past regret, past hurt, injury, setbacks, trial, whatever adversity has happened in the past, stunts our development. And if we live in the future, meaning being fixed on outcomes, going too far ahead, doing the what-if game, it's amazing how that then steals your joy. So it's all about the present. Today's the day. And, and, and that's what I wanted these guys to focus on is living in the past, focus on the past, uh, stunts your development and your growth, and being too far ahead in the future steals your joy in the right now. That's what today's the day means for our team. And it means a lot of different things to a lot of different guys. And so I'm hoping that they take that to heart and start to use that for their battle cry moving forward. Uh, last thing I want to say quickly is just thank you guys so, so much for all the support uh, um, this summer and throughout throughout this, um, especially this last month in August. I've been getting a lot of just exciting, uh, just people that are excited for us and excited for the young group of kids we have, excited to see where we're going to be, um, the, the, the amount of financial support we've received, the, the emotional support, the taps on the back we get when, when we're out. Uh, I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting both the Virginia Athletics Foundation Friends of Wrestling uh, Drive, which is, gosh, the lifebread of the Virginia Wrestling Program, and also the Cavalier Wrestling Club, the Regional Training Center Mission, and the Cavalier Wrestling Club Mission, which is, uh, again, in order to have a thriving team that wants to reach the highest goals, we have to have that as well. So just thank you guys so much for supporting. Um, it's just been a great start to the year. It's busy. It's... Uh, it's a lot. we got a lot of young guys to talk about. So what I'll do next week is I'll throw out a little bit of a preview. I'll do like a freshman special with the incomers and then uh, maybe, maybe go through the projected lineup and some stuff like that just to get everybody fired up. And, and we'll see you guys next week and go who's.